Super Soul Sunday or something. Your aura's all dim. Vibrations is all low. You all fucked up. See, I can't. What are you doing? I'm clearing the space of all this negativity. There you go, there you go with that bullshit again. You look like you ain't even getting no dick either. That'll make your vibrations low too. Mind your damn business. You are my business, ho. We just are laying around feeling sorry for yourself. All you're doing with that is telling the universe you refuse to acknowledge your power. Travis, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't need you in here preaching a sermon to me. And stop waving that thing around here. That stuff stinks. Nah, what you smell is your The fuck? Is that how people answer doors around here? Where well, you just walked in the door and listen to my conversation. Is that reefer I smell coming out of this unit? See, I tell you that stuff stinks. No, we're not smoking weed. What's that thing over here? It's sage. It's supposed to clear the space of negative energy, but this one must not be working. Well, you're going to be using it to help him clear the space of his belongings if he don't pay his rent. I talked to you about that last month. I told you the gigs have been slow, and I have it to you in the next few days. I'm expecting a check. It's late. Okay, well, I'm tired of waiting. And rent's going up next month, because I'm trying to go to Cancun. That sounds like your problem. <clears throat> I'm sorry, did, did I hear you say that you're going to pay his last couple months of rent? No, no, no. I didn't say anything about paying any trips 
to Cancun. Look, I've been here five years. It's only happened a couple times. As soon as I get the check, I'm going to pay the rent. Mm-hmm. Well, the light fee is $50. She must be flying Spirit Air and checking bags. I'll pay the late fee. We good? As long as this bitch has my Super, money. thanks. You ain't paid your rent? It happens, okay? Sue me. Sue you? You ain't got no money. Frankie, what's really going on? You're not answering phone calls or texts. You just, you've been off. Off? Yes, off, like you haven't been yourself. What's going on? What happened? What is what is it? A guy was dating Duck Me. I'm sorry. What happened? He was a Gemini. Oh, then bitch, you dodged a bullet. What else? I have about three dollars to my name. Well, that happens to the best of us. I had to turn tricks just last week for groceries. What else? Mom and I are fighting again. We talked yesterday after not being in touch for eight months and it was a mess. Hmm. I'm really gonna need y'all to practice some more mojo on that cause it's just... I mean, no wonder you guys are doing looking like shit. I don't look like shit, you bitch. Honey, you look shocked. <laughs> I know it's not going to help your situation, but you're trying to get high. Now, what if my landlord smells that comes back over here? That you know that's going to be another problem. That coin is so much stuck on somebody's dick. Do you want this or not? Bitch, you buy me more weed, and you'll be fine. You just need to stop running from all your problems all the time. You think I run from my problems? Like you in the Olympics going for the gold. If you ain't running from your problems, you're running into them. Ain't you tired of being on the same cycle? Like, <laughs> you need some new drama, because this tea ain't even good no more. It's tired. Frankie, look, I'm sorry for being so direct, but you got to take charge of your life. Nothing's going to change until you make it change. You have to stop being afraid to make yourself a priority. Assert yourself. You need to stop watching all that Ayana. No, I don't. I love Ayana. She realigning my chakras and reclaiming my time, all that shit. I like being free. Boo, you just gotta stop feeling sorry for yourself. That's it. I gotta get back to Inglewood. But, here. Oh, come on, I don't need that. You my best friend, and I love you. You ain't got shit to explain to me. Just take it, get yourself some food, 
Start getting your shit together and bathe. Please. Take the damn money. Thank you. Text me later. Woo! I know I love you, bitch, because that was my last $20 to the weekend. And please, get laid. Go. It helps, I swear. <laughs> Ma? Ma, how long have you been out here? What are you doing? 15 minutes. I've been praying and I can feel evil oh, everywhere. Ma. The blood Ma. of Jesus. Ma, can the you blood please calm Satan. down before my neighbors hear you Jesus. and call my landlord and start complaining? I don't need any more trouble from him. I'm so down. You too good to pray now? No, Ma, no. No, it's not that. It's just that. I Ma. rebuke you! I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Oh, don't you walk away from me, friend. I'm your mother. Don't you walk away from me. Ma, stop it. I raised you by myself. Your father got me pregnant and left. You got sent home every day from school for showing up. I didn't have no money. I didn't have no help. Don't tell me to stop. Because if it was not for my Lord and Savior, I would be strung out on dope or in jail or crazy. Why are you here? What do you want? Because this isn't making any sense. I'm here because I want to know why you didn't answer my call. I'm your mother, Franklin, and when I call, you answer. Maybe you're having some, some mental health challenges. Shut up! You not gonna play me. I came here to talk to you. You just mad because I got your number. That's what that is. But I got the power, Franklin. Me and Jesus. How about you get some help? Why don't you do that? You get some help. What are you looking at? You want some? Because you can get some too in Jesus' name. Fuck you mean I'm crazy. I'm not walking around talking to myself. I get up, I take a bath, I pray, I I go look for work. I raised you. You did, mama, you did. Okay, you did. Despite none of it being perfect, you, you did the best that you could. You you taught me how to cook and to work hard and to pray and to treat people right. And you did the best you could. We didn't have much, but you got me things that I wanted. Like the little toy cars and the Easy Bake Oven. That, that meant a lot to me, Ma. That damn Easy Bake Oven. Is that, is that what made you want to be a punk? No, Ma. I was... I was already gay. That's why I want. I don't know. I was like six well, years old. Well, was it the lady that that used to keep you? Did no, something happen there? No, no. I just I always knew. Well, was it that maybe because you you didn't have your daddy? 
No. I got plenty of friends who are gay who got both of their parents. In the same house? Yes, ma'am. In the house. Hmm. Maybe it was something. Maybe it was something they put in the food at that school you was at. See, has something told me don't let you eat that pink applesauce that they was feeding y'all. At least you ain't out here lying to some woman. I can respect you for that. I just hate you didn't grow up without your father. Because see, I wanted you to have both your parents. I didn't have mine. My mother died when I was little. I just... But you had your stepfather. You... Ma, Ma, I really want us to go and sit down with a therapist. Why do you keep saying I need therapy? Like I said, I ain't kill nobody. I get up and I go to church. And Miss Phyllis keeps herself looking good and smelling good. And I get out here every day and do what I need to do. Yeah, I know, but look at how you're out here acting and the things that you say. The last two times that we talked on the phone, you wished death on me. Do you think that's normal? You need to stop letting the devil use you, Franklin. You used to be so happy and gentle. I mean, you would spank me sometimes, but then you just started getting hostile. And you would lock yourself in your room for weeks at a time, and you would come out so angry. And I remember you used to handcuff me to chair so I couldn't move. And you would put your foot on my neck until I couldn't breathe. And you used to let your boyfriend whoop my ass. And I used to think he was trying to kill me, Ma. Well, you shouldn't have been so bad. He made a man out of you, though. Huh? Huh? I'm not going to do this anymore. Because this has affected the way that I feel about myself and relationships that I get in. And enough is enough. I'm not going to be in this cycle anymore. <laughs> You're just so arrogant and silly, just like your daddy. And I'm not my dad. Well, you sure have his genes. Well, I have yours, too. And you're still angry at him. And you haven't let that go. And that's not fair because you take that out on me. Shut up! You getting beside yourself! It's none of your business! Take a moment. This has affected my life enough. So if you're gonna be mad at me, it'll be because I was telling the truth. And you raised me to do that. I'm not gonna do this anymore. Don't you walk away from me. Franklin, don't you walk away from me. I'm your mother. And the Bible says, honor thy mother and not father. And you don't wanna make God angry. Franklin! We both need help. And you might not wanna help yourself, but I'm gonna do what I need to do. I was hoping you would too. Jesus is all the help I need. Go ahead, walk away. Cause you're gonna need me one day in the name of Jesus. You're gonna need me, Franklin. Franklin, Franklin, I'm your mother. You turn around and you talk to me. This is so toxic. And I'm not gonna be in any relationships that are making me unhealthy. I love you, mom. I love you.